Sporting dog adventures run, that boy, was run. Awesome. Everything you Good need boy. is here, here under the sun. Everything you need is here under the sun. Hey, welcome to Sporting Dog Adventures. Today, we're gonna to talk about yelling at your dog and those being the days of the past. We're gonna teach you how to whistle train your dog. There are two different commands that you can use whistles for that will work great for your dog in the field. We've got the sit whistle, which is one single blast, and the recall or hear whistle, which I use three blasts. So the sit whistle, it is just and your dog will sit. Now, this is something that people use when they teach their dog blind retrieves, but it is also a great thing to use if you wanna put your dog stationary in the field. Whether you're waterfall hunting and there's birds working and the dog is off somewhere where they're in a safe area, but you don't want them moving, or if you're on upland and the dog is trailing a bird and starting to get out of range, you can simply hit the sit whistle and put them stationary so that you can either bring them in after your birds work or stop them in an upland condition where you get up, they're in range, and you release them so that they can find the bird. So the first thing you're gonna do is we have a dog that has gone through obedience training, and they are at the point where they completely understand what sit and hear are. So when you are working with your dog, you're gonna use your sit command and just chain it together. Training using the chaining method, which would mean putting multiple commands together that mean the same thing, is something that I learned when I did police work and trained uh, humans for defense and arrest tactics, but it works great for dogs too. Chaining is basically where you say the command and then use your whistle command. So it's sit, you're hitting the whistle. You're giving the command right after, so it's almost simultaneous, and the dog will understand after a few days of working with them on this command where you're chaining it together, where you can just go to and have the dog sit. Same thing for a recall command. You're gonna use multiple whistle blasts. I like to use three. You're gonna say the command here and then use the whistle version right after. So it would be here, here, to where eventually here will just mean Sporting Dog Adventures is presented by the Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks, and Tourism, Boucher Automotive, Fleet Farm, Heavy Shot, Mac Outdoors, Rite Inertia Driven Shotguns, and Soggy Acres Retrievers. Hey, welcome to season nine of Sporting Dog Adventures. Please like our videos, share them, and spread the word to all your friends. When you are doing these commands, a lot of it comes down to them understanding the command, but we can also get a lot of work out of our dog by using body language. If you tell your dog to sit and then tell them good dog after, it rewards them. If you are bent over at the waist like this, you're inviting, when you're calling a dog to hear, the dog is gonna be far more apt to want to come to you as opposed to if you are standing yelling here like this. So even with whistle, it's a beep, 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 good body language. When the dog comes up, tell them they're doing a good dog. With sit, it's beep, good dog, praise them once they do it. You're gonna get a far better training attitude out of your dog as well as have much more success in the field once you're there. So we're gonna work with the dog on sit. Here, come on, buddy, here, sit. Good dog, here, come on, here, sit. Good, here, here, good boy, come on buddy, come here, here, sit. And now you'll watch, I can just do this, the whistle, here, here, come on, here. Again, he understands that the one blast means sit. And the same thing for here, you can put the dog at sit and then, good boy, sit, sit. Good, sit, here, good, good, here. Eventually you're gonna let the dog range out farther and you're gonna use these commands to work with them and get it to a more field type of an application. That's this week's training tip. I hope you enjoyed it. Nothing beats a good pheasant hunt with my sons. We're headed to Kansas this winter. The state has some of the world's best populations of upland game, making it one of America's top bird hunting destinations. Kansas provides mixed bag opportunities and 1.5 million acres of public hunting lands. 
All that makes Kansas an ideal destination. The season runs from the second weekend in November to the end of January. Go to ksoutdoors.com and plan your trip today.